Hello everyone, this is Stephanie Victoria here. I am doing a quick demonstration of applying anti-embolism or TED stockings, okay? So we're gonna go through the whole entire thing. Um, and this isn't a long skill at all. We're at Healthcare EDU, you could see the beds and the setup here, right? So prior to every skill, I've done a soap and water hand wash, all right? Gather supplies, okay? And knock, enter, close my privacy curtain, okay? And so, hello, my name is Stephanie. I'm your nursing assistant. I'm here to place the anti-embolism stockings on. Is that all right? Can I see your two patient identifiers, all right? Now, in real life, I would wear gloves. If you're doing this for D the DNS, testing, which is now um, in the state of Massachusetts. Um, you might not have to wear a glove, but in real life, someone could have a cut on their skin. So I would put gloves on because a lot of times you might inadvertently pinch the patient's skin. All right, so now we respect body mechanics. I'm just going to raise the bed to my proper height. And so every time you enter, it's your name, it's your title, um, what you're doing, and check two patient identifiers. All right, Tony, we are just raising the bed um, so that I can put the anti-embolism stockings on. Now, what I would do with some of my students, I actually would serve as the patient and have my students place it because honestly, until you place it on a real person, you don't really get a sense of how tight they are and you really can inadvertently pinch a patient's skin. Um, and don't forget, sometimes elderly people or people of different complexion, their skin might be a little bit thinner, um, so you want to be careful, okay? So we're gonna do our best to demonstrate the principles with the mannequin, but a real person adds a little bit more nuances. Now, I had knee highs somewhere here, but I can only find the thigh highs for the video. So remember where we're placing it, this, because these are thigh highs, I would lift the Johnny up a little bit, always be mindful where you hold someone. So here I would hold the person at the ankle for the joints. Don't just go touching and um, swinging the person's extremities everywhere. Now these are extremely tight and difficult to put on. You won't really get a sense of that because it's a mannequin. So what you want to do, whether knee highs or thigh highs, I gather them in my hand and you could even see it's like difficult to stretch. That's the correct fit, okay? So the first time you put them on, you might go back and look at the size. Like, do I have the right size? But they're compression stockings. So that's kind of how it's supposed to be. Now you can see the toes are open. That's to check circulation. So I would stretch like so and see if you can get it on. If you get this first one on in one fail swoop, like this beginning part, hold the joints. That's gonna be most important. And you wanna line up the heel. So some students get right to trying to bring it up. Once I actually get it on, I make sure the heel is lined up. And I actually had the heel twisted. But I make sure the heel is lined up, always supporting the patient's ankle. All right, Tony, I'm just lining it up at the heel, okay? The heel is lined up and you see how it fits. So I start smoothing down below. You wanna make sure there are no wrinkles because if you've ever seen this, this could actually ball up and form a tourniquet. It's so tight that when it rolls onto itself, you look at the person's feet and their foot is like blue, okay? Cause they can form a tourniquet. So now once you get the heel, I start smoothing. You have to be careful with your nails and this is what I mean, you might inadvertently push the patient's skin. It's kind of like you roll up and smooth as you go along. That's my best way that I found because if you roll it all the way up and you find out you have wrinkles, you're gonna see even like I could tell with the mannequin a little bit to fix it, I'm gonna be doing all this pinching the patient's skin. So once I get it on, you can see it's even difficult on a mannequin, imagine a real person. Once I get it on, I roll up and smooth as I go along. Now these are thigh highs. Um, so they're just going up a little higher. Knee, knee length um, would stop probably a little bit above the knee. And with the knee highs, you've got to be careful because sometimes obviously a knee bends, right? And people move around, so they'll curl up sometimes behind the knee, all right? Um, so thigh highs, we don't want to expose Tony here, <laughs> but the thigh highs go all the way up, okay? So again, I would do one last check to make sure it's smooth. 
out, okay? The toes are exposed. Wiggle your toes for me. And when someone has them on, you wanna check. You could always check. You could check pulses behind this ankle bone, which is um, posterior tibial, and make sure that there's no wrinkles, no creases, um, and you're not creating a tourniquet, all right? So again, a quick recap. That first part is a little uncomfortable. It's going to be super tight. Brace the ankle as much as you can and get it on the foot and get that ankle situated, not the ankle, the heel um, place in section. Once you get that on, make sure this opening, I smooth out the foot and then I roll up and smooth out as I go along. Don't just get it all the way up and have all of these wrinkles. Now, obviously, Tony here is not a bigger size patient. Um, I'm being a little sarcastic, but honestly, in real life, I've had patients really be kind of just on the heftier side. You might need a person to just come help and lift up the foot sometimes, okay? So you might bathe them, do everything, um, and get ready to just put Ted stockings on, ring the bell, and call for your colleague. Again, if you are lifting up the foot, do proper body mechanics um, holds at the ankle, the person would help you if this was a really a heavier set person. You would put the second one on, which we're not doing. Some people have fluid, their legs need to be elevated. You would hold at the ankle, put a pillow under their legs to kind of help with that circulation. All right, so now I'm gonna go into my finishing up steps, which is bed is low and locked. So I'm lowering the bed, I'm locking it. Um, Tony, we're all set. You have your crawl light there if you need some assistance. The side rail is up. It was lower extremity, so I didn't have anything to do with the side rail. So side rail up, bed low and lock. Um, the patient has the call light. Would you like the head of bed up or down, Tony? You want it up a little bit? Okay, patient comfort. Okay, my privacy curtains open. We'll call us if you need us, and I'm out of the room, and that's it for the skill. All right, and hand washing done.